Hi, Doc. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Nice to see. You. Oh, I like I like the way you look at you. Are you coming out of surgery or something like that? I'm about to go to work. You're about to go to work with sneaks on everything. Uh, Doctor uh, Janet Neshawat is with us, family and uh, ER doctor, medical TV news expert, and a medical doctor. Uh, uh, for you said for the city of Maryland, you're the doctor doctor for the city of Maryland. For, uh, city, what's that say? What's that? Oh, MD. Oh, That's how oh, I thought it was Maryland. Yeah, of, yeah. of for Glasses. city MD. Got it. Okay. Now I can. Al goes glasses. Would help. Yeah. That's okay. Sorry. It's all right. He didn't recognize my wife yesterday when I showed him a picture because he didn't have his glasses. Right. 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 What did I write? What did I write? No, I always get nervous. If I made an error, <laughs> did I really write City of Maryland? <laughs> no. Even I know Maryland's a state. <laughs> I saw MD, director for City MD. I got it. What is City MD again? You told me so that. So walk in urgent care. So if you come in, say you broke your wrist yeah. or you have an pneumonia yeah. or maybe strep throat or UTI or okay. abdominal pain. You I hear. Thanks for coming. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. How's your you? family doing? You were at a rock concert last I saw you. Did you go? Did, oh, yeah. What, you, but you guys missed I know. It. I know. I don't do anything. Blast. I don't do anything. Well, Who did you see? And you sent me the doctor yeah, sent. Yeah, so Are you married? First of all, let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. <laughs> no, I'm not married. Are you married? And you married? invite me to? I'm not. <laughs> and you invite not? me to What's a concert, and you? I don't show up. I'm wondering as you're here now. Joe's <laughs> between wives at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, you walked right into it. It's, it's one of those <laughs> weeks. I've been working so hard at Bungie. Listen, and you know, you didn't even know you were from Maryland, and you're from Maryland. I said that. Well, so it's one of those weeks. So you, this lovely gal. The, see, that I'm going to say is something inappropriate. This is bad because God forbid, you a lovely gal, professional. You work. Um, she's an anomaly for women that I generally a uh, date don't ever. So then you oh. you invited me to, and I'm I'm just yeah, kidding, and I, I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, 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 but no, you were at a cut rock concert. You invited me. Why wow. didn't I go? All of you guys. Why didn't any of you come? Well, we let's talk about the guys. Let's talk about me. Okay, we'll talk <laughs> like, about we you. love the guys, but uh, we had a no blast. offense, Sal. No and, offense. And, uh, they're touring now in Brazil, uh, South what's, America, so they'll be making their way way around again. What's the group? What's the group? Um, Scott Stapp, singer for Creed. Oh yes, you yeah. said that. You said he was great. He's amazing. Yeah. This is good. You have time to do that with your schedule. Hey, it's well, a... it's not work if you love what you do, right? Uh, yeah, it's so yeah, true. It's, it's so true. You gotta, you know, balance Doc, work I'm, and I'm, fun. And uh, uh, I'm having a, like. I'm having a problem because I could feel I'm, I'm taxing my throat too much because I'm working. I was working last night. I'm working. It's been crazy. And, and you're th- singing on television. I, I saw know. you. Right <laughs> I was like, what's this? I'm flipping through the channels Where? and I hear you singing Sinatra. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I know. That was amazing. I know. On a news show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Live national television. Yeah, because I, I was doing the American Newsroom, and before we went on, the, the camera went on, Bill Hemmer, who was at the anchor desk, I think I was talking to Sandra Smith at yeah, the time. Yeah. I, uh, it was uh, Julie Banderas yesterday, and Hemmer, and just Bill goes, who's a great guy. He goes, summer win, Joe, summer win. I think so I went, it does something, Frank Sinatra. Yeah, but I could awesome. feel, But I could feel my nose still clogged up. And and then Al always tells me, this is my radio wife, by the way. Yeah. He tells me he tells I me what to do, what not to do. So but I use the Afrin. The Afrin <laughs> <Your work wife. laughs> Al, you will. You'll hit me up for alimony. You will. Forget will. about it. He offended me. <laughs> your honor. I never I just was on the radio with the guy, Your Honor. Please. <laughs> but you know, he said I went to reach for Afrin. Uh, I know. I know, I know, I, and I don't. Maybe try some like fluticasone. Like what is steroid it? Based. I know, I know, Nasonex, fluticasone. He's from Flonase. Brooklyn. Oh, is it? I love Flonase. But Flonase is better. Well, Afrin is constricts, and that can give you temporary relief. But if you're having like chronic you yeah. know, allergy type symptoms, yeah. Use something that's not going to be. Yeah, because you normally use is um, Nasacort. Is Nasacort? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. It is, but it doesn't really work like mm-hmm. Afrin Man nails it. You know well, what I mean? Be careful. Don't overuse that. You'll have some rebound congestion. That's what I have. Yeah. I think that's what I have now. You think you have? Yeah. This, it's, you know, it's that time of the year with the changes in the ragweed and the pollen, that sort of see, thing. So we, you're definitely not alone. Well, I would, if, see, if we were in a relationship, I would drive you crazy. Because <laughs> I, I right, I'd be like Woody Allen. I have a headache. I think I have a tumor. Uh, I have a tumor <laughs> in my head. You know what I mean? I'm leaving okay. now. Stop. Hey, so tell us about how, first of all, tell us how you got started because I love, you know, I, really, I mean, I love that uh, when you're, I'm the father of three daughters, you know, and yet you decided to go to medical school. That's a huge leap. Well, you, I, I, my mom, she's a registered nurse and she kind of right. inspired me at a young age. I just fell in love with how she took care of, you know, sick, abused children. I mean, she took care of children with like broken bones and that sort of thing. And I just fell in love with watching her, you know, put a smile on these kids' face and take care of them. And so she kind of inspired me to go into medicine. And I think it all started from there. Yeah, God bless yeah. you. It's great. You've done so, so well. Thank and you. then we always got to go to the flu shot. I had the flu, I had the yes. flu shot. Did you, did you all get your flu no, shot? No, they never get it. I should have brought some. For, okay, so I'll be at the FIDI <laughs> location here. 
city. Wait, are you in the city? Yeah, today that's why. I, yeah, I was like, oh, I'll be in the area. Doc, where are you gonna be? The uh, twenty-four uh, Broad Street, right next Go. door to the New York <laughs> Stock Exchange. I get my I get my flu shot every year. Did you get it ready? Done. 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 I, I may stop by. Shot. Um, I am I'm slowly becoming a believer, you know, of uh, getting a flu shot because you always hear so many different things. You know, historically, I haven't gotten one. Joe always has urged me to get one. I haven't gotten one. Um, one because I've never gotten the flu, and two, I don't feel great about you know putting, you know, the, the substances into you know my body. And then I hear so many people that say they feel crummy after getting the flu shot. So I'm thinking, all right, I generally don't get the flu, and I, Yo, yeah. <laughs> you know, why 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 feel bad well, even for a day? Go ahead. Anyway. Because Let's, there's what's oh, called sorry. herd immunity, and you could help protect all, all right. those other newborn babies. Herd and people community. With, Weakened immunity who can't get their All flu right. shot. So when okay. everybody gets the flu shot, we can prevent not, it. And not the first time it. I've been compared to an elephant, but <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, I've heard like a bird uh, community. Peanut? I'm just what I go ahead and do a peanut? Eat them like any other elephant. No, yeah. if, I love how Frank just said I have a problem putting <laughs> substances <laughs> in my body. <laughs> bourbon, not a problem. Flu shot to help everyone. Well, bourbon uh, is essential. Problem. That's the thing. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Cheeseburgers. Uh, Bacon, exactly. Oh, see? So, so we went in. We went in, and I said I didn't get the flu shot till later. I just got it last week before good. I went to Los Angeles. Okay, good. I, I felt it for a little bit. Like I could always soreness? no. She was good, and it was it was at CVS or, oh, or yeah. Walgreens. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. at me, because I got, but, but this, if I go to. Uh, the question is, if I go to the uh, pharmacy, is it the same as going to a yeah, doctor? Yeah, it's the same. the same thing. I mean, the technique it should be the yeah, same. Yeah, she was the, good. So there's different brands, but yes, it's all it's all. So I felt, okay, I could see the next day, I felt a little, I always get that just a yeah. little bit reaction, but that's nothing, normal. but I could still function, yeah. and now hopefully it's, Yeah, you know. yeah, that's a just normal reaction. That's your body working to create antibodies so that when it recognizes and the, the flu tries to attack you, it prevents you from getting sick. Yeah, because I, I, I so I live by it, so this. This is great. Where are you going to be if, if, if someone's listening and they're downtown? You're going to be at 20, yeah, right, 24 Wall Street. Right next door to the, the, the New York Financial, the New York Stock Exchange. We'll be right there. Is that is that what what, what, what your facility is? You have yeah, done City MV. We're right right next door to there. We You're there all day up. like that? Well, till 8 tonight, yeah. Okay. 8 to 8. What are you doing after that? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> going home to sleep <laughs> and eat. Yeah, 12 hours. That's enough, girl. That's enough. It's going to be a busy day. When are you going back to Maryland? <laughs> I like that. I like Maybe that. on my way to D.C. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, the vaping situation. Oh, yeah. You know, I worry so much because we talked to Dr. Mark Siegel from Fox. And he's great. Mark comes on the show. So we talked to him about vaping. He said it's good if you're smoking. And I smoked for five years as a kid, you know, yes, oh. as a kid. And I said, by the way, that, that has that lingering effects if you smoked 100 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 so years? the effects decrease and are yeah. minimized every I year. I hope so. Yeah, so but they're, but they're Dr. Siegel okay. said when you t when you get away and you want, he wants to take his clients, all, his patients, off of cigarettes, you'd vape a little bit like that. And he said that's what's good about it, but now it's getting out of hand. Yeah, so it's the, I, we think it's this THC, these bootleg counterfeit scary. cartridges that kids are, so are using and buying off, off the streets. But, I mean, it's not FDA regulated. It's not FDA approved to use yeah, vaping yeah. to quit smoking. But, hey, my brother, you know, I have family members that quit smoking with the use of vaping if it's used properly so that you can wean off the nicotine. But you have to be careful where you're getting it from. And if you have any chest pain or shortness of breath or wheezing or cough, you need to stop it right away. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the flavored e-cigs, they say that's the bad. What's the difference between that and just well, not there's having a, a There's some studies that show, like, for example, cinnamon flavored and I think vanilla have been shown to kill the cells in your lungs. Yeah. Um, but then also the kids are lured and attracted to like mango and fruit flavored those jewel pods and that's how you know that's another issue yeah. the, the epidemic of vaping with kids so we definitely need to work on tackling that and parents and coaches and teachers need to teach their kids to stay away from it because it's highly addictive and it can cause severe lung issues we just saw the first 17 year old boy who had a double lung transplant what was that that was so lungs scary completely failed because it's, of vaping. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the, the coating of the lungs, air couldn't get in and out. Yeah. Think of it like oil. You can't yeah. get, you know, you have to use some detergent to clean it off. Yeah, same, yeah. Maybe the same thing in the lung that happened. He couldn't get air in, and he was almost died. Dr. Uh, uh, ja Did you say Janet? You say Jeanette. Jeanette. Jeanette's right. nice. That's a nice name with the two T's. Jeanette Neshawat. She. This is a great gal. Very knowledgeable Thank girl. You. The The hospital cost and transparency. And what you're doing, the medical director for City MD. I like what you're doing where people could just walk in. 
and they, they and you, now they have a pill in the hospital. You hear about this forever and ever. You know, it costs like a hundred bucks when it costs two cents to make. Sure, and those that's just medicine. But you know, some people they need to have a procedure. For example, they don't know how much is it going to cost them. Even if you have insurance, they'll still get a, a bill for a yeah, hundred, yeah. oh yeah, thousands oh, of yeah. dollars. Or they go to the ER. They have no idea. How much it's going to charge? So, you know, the the question is having transparency, having hospitals list their prices yeah. up front, or at least give patients an estimate so they don't get any surprise bills that are going to put them into some financial hardship. You know? Do you take insurance when they walk in? To, yeah, to you see don't it? have to have insurance to come to City MD. If you don't have insurance, you you'll still be seen. They they you can pay cash or use insurance, but we we pretty much take most insurances. Yeah. not all, but most. Of them. Hey, Doc, you know, I gotta ask before yeah. we let you go. And thanks for coming. Sure, my Australia. pleasure. When are you supposed to be over there? Eight o'clock. Yeah, this not morning? till eight. So I'm can good. we get you something? Can oh no, I'm good. Thank we you. have nothing to offer. <laughs> I see but you I... got your maple syrup there again. I'm like, <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, I'm go- you know, I'm going. That's he has an going. addiction to that. As problem. long as you don't have di- diabetes. <laughs> see, well, so I I have maple syrup. I live by it, and it was when I started working out. And yeah. it, when I started working out, that's pure maple syrup because I don't like the junk Is maple syrup. Is it from syrup. Maryland? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> Yeah, that's too that's strong. Empty. Like my new chair? <laughs> yeah. It's empty. That bottle's I, only been you used know why for I have time, this new chair, so. Doc, because I'm important. Good. Like you give me some good lumbar support Look at there. that. I like that. So I, I started working out, and I always, my buddy, with you. Pete Browning, the bodybuilder from West uh, was Westwood <laughs> Workout Club somewhere in New Jersey, you got to eat uh, French toast in the morning, and you have to have maple syrup, real maple syrup, because it's, it's a simple carbohydrate, mm-hmm. but in a way, it, it gives you energy. Uh, the 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 maple syrup does. Then my doctor, uh, Doctor P in Jersey, you know, goes. He goes, hey, I've been listening to you guys. Lay off the maple syrup, please, because could that if you and I, I love the sugar, sugar too. I'm fructose, eating tootsie rolls. I am the worst. I am the worst because when I'm on the road, I'm with my little Charlie, and she likes the sweets. And we, we're having Twix, and I'll have a little yeah. bit because I'll count the grams of fat, but. How, if that will cause diabetes? It, it can. That All that oh, sugar, the oh carbs, you have to be It'll careful. cause moderation. diabetes? Oh, yeah. It can lead to high blood sugar, and you can burn out your pancreas. Your pancreas, oh, is, you have these cells in the I pancreas that make pancreas. insulin, and um, you're going to overuse them, burn them out. You, you'll develop what's called insulin resistance. So hey, you moderation. You can't, you, can't, you can't have that every day. That's too much. I can't have the maple syrup every cut, day? Cut down on it, at least, yeah. Cut Unless down. you want diabetes. <laughs> Well, how, well, so how can I check if something? This yeah, is what I worry yeah, about. I worry about getting the blood test to yeah, check. Yeah, absolutely. So, because I get a blood test like every six months at least. That's good. Sometimes good. every four months. Yeah, that might be a little too uh, soon. Four but months. I, I drive my doctor six, crazy. Six I text my doctor. Okay, the worst thing my doctor ever did was give me his phone number because I, te- <laughs> I text him that. I mean, if you're worried, for example, about prediabetes, and we can catch that yes, yes, early. Yeah. Because some people are in that gray area; they're mm-hmm. about to get diabetes. Yeah, but if yeah. we catch them early, yeah. we can help prevent them from progressing to diabetes by telling them lay off all that carbs and sugar exercise which sounds like I say doing. to you listening now you see what I'm saying there was a plethora of information thanks for coming yes, in sir, because this pleasure. this affects your life as you watch and as you listen because you know I'm doing I'm trying to divert from the politics it's getting crazy everybody that could give you stress right watching yeah. this stuff yeah. where you say how can this stuff happen in Washington <laughs> here you're giving us stuff like I have to lay off my maple syrup well, well I go into with I'll go into withdrawal well, you Look, he's shaking. Down. He's shaking. He's telling him he can't have maple syrup anymore. That's not why I'm shaking it. Do the sugar-free <laughs> version. <laughs> this is I the have, same guy who like took a, a brownie. Aunt Jemima Doctor, sugar-free. D- Doctor, syrup. this is the same guy who took a brownie a few weeks ago. Big chunk of and brownie. Put, don't he tell crumbled. Me no, 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 no. He, no, no, no. He <laughs> crumbled. He Ooh, crumbled the idea. brownie up until there was a smidge well, like this, and ate that and thought it was delicious. But yet he pours a gallon of maple syrup eat, on his French toast. I generally don't eat. Fat, high fat things. This uh, brownie looked like it had high fat in it, but it, I love chocolate. Yeah. I love chocolate. But it's the that sugars wasn't chocolate. and the, the fructose corn syrup, the sugars, the carbs is what what leads to diabetes, and you know millions of Americans have it, and that leads to heart disease, the number one killer. So you got to be careful oh. with that. Okay, and so then, great to have you with us this morning. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to Janet's clinic right now in Maryland. We're going to Maryland. We're taking the train. It's really though his only vice because everything else he eats has no flavor. Has no flavor. Drink a beer than all that sugar. Oh whoa! Here you go. Here you go. You want one? He's but Mr. Beer. Day. He's Mr. Right. Beer. You kidding That's me? That's right. Not every day. Moderation. Uh, Dr. Jeanette and Nashawat, at Family and ER Doctor, Medical TV doctor News Expert, approved. and and the Medical Director for City MD. If you want a flu shot, it, it, the doc is in. The doctor is in the house. And <laughs> you, Janet, you are so much fun, Jeanette. You're you know what? Uh, give me a call. And would you want to go to a concert? Yeah, I don't do anything socially. 
what, what's well, she trying to do? Gotta change that. So what, what's, what's this lead singer for who? Creed. Out? My sacrifice. Can yeah. you take me higher? With yeah. arms wide open. You'll be singing. You'll be with your family singing, and I'll be in the background looking yeah. very like <laughs> in uncomfortable. A It'll be fun. Working my maple syrup. Part. It sounds delightful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Working my way to diabetes. I tell you, it's all good. No. Can we throw that away for you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeanette. Great to see you, Doc. Thank you. God bless you, girl. Thank you so much.